Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm one of the wildlife rangers at Ipswich Borough Council. Today we're going to show you how to make a mini wildlife pond in your garden. Making a mini pond is easy. You can make one with things you have lying around your house and in your garden. Here are a few things you might need. A washing up bowl or watertight container, some stones, some pond plants, a couple of bricks, some rainwater, a garden spade or trowel, and some small logs and pieces of bark. So you really want your pond to be in partial shade during parts of the day. But if it's under a tree, remember that the pond will quickly fill up with leaves. So I'm putting my wildlife pond over here to help wildlife across the whole garden. I chose this spot because it gets sun during the day, but not all the time. If you're using a dark plastic or metal container, these will heat up quickly and the water will evaporate out of your pond and your wildlife will get too hot. You may also want to put in a toad abode like this one with some moss, some stones, branches and logs around the back of your pond to create a place for newts, toads and maybe reptiles to hibernate over winter. Put your pond plants in position and put some stones and logs all around the pond plants. Putting some gravel or smaller stones at the bottom of the pond will add a new feature for different types of wildlife. You can also add some stones around the edges of your pond or you could use the turf and soil that you dug up to put your pond in around the lip of the pond to make sure that your pond is flush with the ground. Now simply fill up your pond with rainwater, preferably not tap water as this encourages algae and duckweed to grow which is not great for the pond. If you do not have a water butt you can leave out buckets when it next rains or wait for your pond to fill up naturally. Soon your new wildlife pond will fill with all kinds of wildlife and be a valuable wildlife feature for your garden. If you build a wildlife pond in your garden, we'd love to know. Please tell us on our social media posts by tagging us at IpswichGov.